Uh, why did you choose uh, to have uh, a work experience abroad and why did you choose uh, Italy? Well, I graduated university um, in Philadelphia and I studied a type of um, social medicine, public health it's called. And I liked what I studied, but after I was finished, I didn't know what kind of job, what kind of career I wanted in that field. So I decided to take some time to explore other things, to travel a little bit. And um, there was a program in my university um, to go and do a year teaching in Italy. Um, so I decided to apply to that. And I got in, and um, they chose Bergamo for me. I didn't get to choose where I wanted to go, but I said, you can choose anywhere in Italy. I'll be happy. <laughs> and um, I'm here for eight months, from October to May. So they choose uh, Bergamo for you, but uh, you could choose uh, if uh, coming, coming here to Trescore or uh, in other towns? No, they assigned this specific, okay. that Instituto yeah. Tecnico, um, to me. They assigned it to me. Um, I chose Italy though because my family is Italian. The, oh. My mother's side of my family is Italian. Um, they're from Vicenza. And um, I've always traveled to Italy. Um, I have studied the language at school and I speak the language at home with my family. So I feel half American, half Italian. So I wanted to explore this side of my identity maybe a little bit more. And uh, do you like uh, Bergamo and, uh, and Italy? Yeah, I do. Um, I've never been to Bergamo before this year, um, but I love it. It reminds me a lot of Philadelphia because it's not too big, it's pretty small, um, but there are other cities around like Milan and Torino and, um, that are much more popular maybe, so I can travel to those cities when I feel Bergamo is too small. Yeah. And uh, what do you think is uh, the most useful thing uh, you will get from uh, this experience? Mm. That's a good question. Because uh, you said you already speak uh, Italian uh, at home, so I don't think uh, the language is uh, the first thing. Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned is adaptation. Being put into a new experience without any expectation of who you will meet, of what your experience will be like, and just kind of being flexible and learning to take on the challenges and the opportunities that, prevent, that present themselves. So I think that's an important lesson of this whole experience. And uh, do you think uh, work uh, experiences uh, help uh, young people yeah. in their life? In the United States, everybody does a stage beginning in high school, um, Scuola Superiore. Yeah. Um, and in university, it's required that you do many, maybe three or four. Um, and they're all very important. I've all had, I've had maybe five or six stage experiences, and they've all been very useful because they've been, it's, I've been able to choose different fields just because I'm curious um, and I've gotten experience in a lot of different sectors so I think it's very useful. Also be learning how to be independent in yourself is a big lesson in that. And uh, in general, what do you think are the differences uh, between uh, the Italian and uh, the American uh, work environment? Mm. The work environment. Well, Americans are much more the work ethic maybe isn't harder, but we're much more obsessed with being fast and efficient and um, being um, timely and organized. Our work days are from nine o'clock to five, and that's it. Oh. 
I think maybe in Italy it's more relaxed. It's more about you finish the job when you are finished and then you go home. But in the United States, whatever time, if it's five, then you finish for the day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but also, the sense of bureaucracy in Italy is a lot different. Um, it's a lot more complicated. Um, and that translates into the workplace, too. So that could be maybe a negative critique of yeah, the <laughs> Italian <laughs> workplace. I'm sorry, I don't I hope I don't offend anyone. No, no, no. <laughs> we know it. Okay. Uh, what about uh, your future? What uh, will you do when uh, you get home? Well, I actually hope to do another year teaching here. Right now I am applying to different um, teaching positions in Bergamo at different international schools. Um, sending my CV out to see if anybody needs a Madre Lingua student teacher. Um, but when I return, I will most likely go to a graduate program, start a graduate program. I'd like to return to school, but I still don't know what um, specifically I'd like to study outside of my undergraduate major. Okay. Um, we finished because okay. uh, somehow you answered all the questions, so we're okay. over. <laughs> Very cool.